Hi, I'm Luke Ayres. What's the best lens for product photography? Because a lot of us are focused on products here. It's good to know, even though I don't do like reviews and stuff like that, uh, because you can say all the specs you want about something and you can see all the pictures and all this kind of stuff. But really until you actually try a lens on your camera and see through it and see how it feels and see if you can actually use it good, um, a review only takes you so far. So for me, it's a waste of time. I'll get basic information about something that I'm interested in. Then I got to go and try it, or borrow it or something like that and see how it feels. See if I like the look of it when I'm really trying to take my kinds of photos with it. And then I'll decide whether it's right for me. So I can't just say things and, you know, just take, take it as truth, you know. So, you know, it's all subjective. So hence why I don't do many reviews. Hence, but I will say one thing, all right. When it comes to product uh, photos, um, the type of lens, I won't say a specific lens because there's so many, but the type of lens that I would recommend you get is a macro lens. All right. Now, the, the, the word macro means big and a macro lens is a lens which, so, so there's, lenses have different fields of view, right? Like how much they see, right? A lens can be like zoomed out and you see a lot, or it could be like zoomed in and you see closer to it. But macro is neither of this. Macro is talking about how close a lens can focus to an object that you're photographing. Okay, how close you can get. Because uh, it doesn't matter how wide it can see or how zoomed in it can see, it's still, of most lenses, have like a minimum distance of how close they can physically get to an object and still focus. All right. So a macro lens is a lens which can focus a lot physically closer to an object than a normal lens will allow you to. Okay. So it, it doesn't actually work to take, if you want to take a photo close up of like a bug or something, buying a really long zoomed in telephoto lens doesn't actually get you a really close up shot of a smaller object. It works great if you're far away from it and you're zooming in on like a bird or something in a tree. But if you're getting close to something physically close, it's a different lens entirely that you need for that. Because you will notice that even on an 800 millimeter super telephoto long range lens, it could probably only physically get about this close to the object that you want to photograph, even though it's that zoomed in. So macro is simply a lens which is built and the glass inside it is arranged in whatever way it is so that you can be very close to something. And that's how you get really close images of things. Now for product photos, it's not like you're going to be using that actually. It's not like you're, you actually need to see the hairs on the jar of cream you're photographing. Okay. But the point I make by why I recommend a macro lens is because, because macro lenses have to be able to focus super closely and see so many little details, they physically have to be made really clear, really sharp, really like they, they, they just have to be good quality in, in, in what they can see. With like a wide angle lens, you can get away with, oh, it's not so, you know, sharp and clear and that sort of thing, because you're seeing a lot in the picture. But with macro, you might be focusing on like an eyeball or something, and it's gonna be very obvious if some of those details look a bit distorted and not as clear as you'd want them to be, okay? So macro lenses, the cool thing about them is they're basically all super clear and super sharp, which is what you want for product photos. For portraits or, or different types of photography, you don't need that necessarily, even though a lot of people would say that, all right? Portraits is a different ball game. Portraits, you know, something that looks a bit blurry and distorted looks cool for a portrait, you know? I personally like that kind of stuff, all right? But for products, you just want, you want the clearest possible view of your object. So a macro lens does that for you. Now, there's two types of macro lenses. All right, there's a true macro lens, 
which I'll get to in a second. And there's just any lens that might have the word macro added onto the end of it. Now, um, it, many lenses, many lenses, uh, even just the cheapest of lenses might have, if you read the lens, it might say macro at the end of it. All right. And that means that, yes, it can focus more closely than a normal lens. Okay. So they call it a macro lens, but a true macro lens. And uh, why I would go for a true macro lens is because it's going to be, it's going to be even clearer than just some old, you know, dodgy, I'll oh, just chuck the name on it because it can get five centimeters closer than the other one. No, a true macro lens is a, is a macro lens which can focus closely enough to an object that it can get, uh, it can magnify the object to a one-to-one -one magnification. What that means is that, is that the object that you're photographing will be the same size in your picture as it is in real life. So if you're photographing, say, uh, a, a ring, a ring, okay? A ring with a macro lens. If, you, if, 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 you're, if you're photographing it one-to-one -one life size, which means you get closer, closer, closer enough with it that it will be, you know, full scale, you know, the real life size of it. That means that in terms of your camera sensor in there, this ring would be the same size in the picture as it is if you laid that ring onto the sensor. So if that sensor is the full size of your picture, the ring would be almost touching the top and bottom of your picture. That's how like close, it's like life size. Okay, so a true macro lens has, I'm married again, a true macro lens has the ability to get that close. And I'm not saying you need to get that close, okay? Of course, it might be handy to, you know, sh you know if you're showing the, the texture in a fabric or something like that, that's handy. But I'm saying, if the lens can do that, it's guaranteed to be super sharp, super awesome, okay? I mean, technically, you can use macro lenses for more than just close up. They make great portrait lenses. They make great le for, for anything else because they're, they're, they're the best. They have to be the best because they have to be able to see things clearly super close up. All right. Uh, the, the reason why I, I wouldn't use a macro lens for everything is because, uh, you know, usually things like the focus speed and these sorts of things are not quite as fast and that sort of a thing. But you don't need that when you're, cl when you're focusing close up. But they're sharp. They're freaking sharp. So get any lens which can do a one-to-one -one macro magnification reproduction fancy words of an object. It'll say it. It'll say it. Okay. You look for a one-to-one -one macro lens. So whatever camera brand you're using, um, just look. Just just look for a macro lens which can do one-to-one -one magnification. Okay. Now. What uh, macro lenses, of course, like any other lens, they have a millimeter, you know, an amount of zoom on it. Some of them are zoom lenses, some of them are primes, which don't zoom, okay? Um, and you're going to have to try that on your camera to see what, what is going to work best for you. Um, you know, something like a 60 millimeter macro is great, or usually a lot of them will be 100 millimeter macro. 60 millimeter or 100. If you want a bit more of a wide shot, get a 60. Uh, but 100 mil is fine. And then if you just, if you need more space, you just physically back up from your shot. But yeah, seriously, anything that I want to shoot, there, you know, any products, you, you just get a macro lens, all right? You, you'll love it. It'll be beautiful photos. And macro lenses aren't the most expensive lenses, which is great, okay? So whatever camera brand you're using, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Sony, all right, just search what, what macro lenses are available, okay? And try before you buy to make sure you're cool with it. But that's what I would go for.